Hi everyone, for today's project I'll be using Roy's Cycle Decoupage Papers and the Craft Stencil Bushel Basket. Here I'll be starting with the Roy's Cycle Decoupage Paper called Chippy Wood. I'm laying out the decoupage paper and I'm going to determine what is the best placement for my stencil. I'd like to capture as much of the blue color that's in the paper. I begin stenciling the image of the bushel basket using Dixie Bell chalk mineral paint in coffee bean. After I have stenciled the bushel basket, I'm going to cut out the image following the outer line. Here I have a thrifted sign that I've painted over white. And I'm going to start with a base color of Dixie Belle chalk mineral paint in putty. I'm going to be doing a frottage technique and this will be my base color before applying the other two colors I plan on using. I'll apply two coats of the putty color and allow it to dry before the next step. Next I'm using Dixie Belle Chalk Mineral Paint Mermaid Tail. I've watered down the paint so it's almost a wash when it's applied to my project. Before applying the paint, I've got a couple sheets of packing paper that I'm going to wrinkle up and use for my frottage technique. Here I'm applying the paint, making sure there's full coverage on my project. After the first coat of paint is applied, I'm going to use my Mr. Bottle and give it a light mist. I then use the packing paper and smooth it out over the paint. This frottage technique creates great texture and is a wonderful background for any project. I want to add another color and I'm going to use Dixie Bell's Chalk Mineral Paint in Pure Ocean. Again, I'm going to water down the paint, apply it to my project, and use the packing paper to create texture. For the next step, I'm going to apply Dixie Belle Clear Coat Satin to the back of my cutout bushel basket. I gave the decoupage paper a light water mist before applying the clear coat. This helps to stretch the paper and it creates less wrinkles. Here I'm using a ball of saran wrap to help apply the paper to my project. Now that the bushel basket has been decoupaged to my project, I'm going to start placement and design. I'm using cut pieces from Roy Cycle decoupage paper called Stacked Heirlooms and Heirloom Pumpkins by Lexi Grinzer. This looks like pretty good placement of all my pieces. To avoid having any of the image of the bushel basket show through the pieces that I want to apply, I'm going to paint the backs of those pieces white.
Once the paint has dried on my cutout pieces, I'm going to ensure the placement on my project and begin decoupaging using Dixie Belle Clear Coat Satin. I repeat the same process on the top of my project, but this was my mistake. I was testing the waters to see how transparent it would be without applying the paint to my pumpkin pieces. And you can see that the bushel basket is showing right through. I was able to remove the piece. I allowed it to dry and I continued to paint all the backs of my other parts to this project white. Continuing on, I place all my pieces and decoupage them to my project. One thing I want to note is if you have pieces that you are layering, be sure to lay down the pieces that would be on the bottom first. Here I'm using the remnant of my decoupage paper and I want to cut out some of the floral pieces to add here and there on my project. After layering the pieces that I've cut from my remnants, you will notice that there's a lot of white in the background. And the way that I camouflage it is I use a craft brush and a complementary paint color to do some shading and highlighting to cover those areas. Here at the top of my project, I wanna cover the white background on the wheat in the floral. I'm going to start by filling in the white areas with the frottage colors that I used, which were Mermaid Tail and Pure Ocean. Then I will build up the wheat colors using the decoupage paper design as my guide.
I'm going to use Dixie Belle's Besting Wax in Brown and shade around the areas of my project. This helps to camouflage and soften up those hard cut lines. I also use the Best Dang Wax in Brown to shade the most outer part of my project. I'd like to remind everyone that you can find Roy Cycle decoupage papers and Dixie Bell products and supplies on my website at www.thechalktrunk.com. For the final step, I top coat the entire piece with Dixie Bell clear coat in satin. And here's the final look. I had so much fun creating with Roy Cycle decoupage papers. What did you think of this project? Please comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more DIY inspiration. Thanks for watching.